Jordan said Kawhi Leonard is the best two-way player is it all, of all time. I'm not sure if you said of all time. Right now, in right the now game, in yeah. the game, yeah. in the game. What are your thoughts about that? Let's start with uh, the dynamic, the dribbling. Dynamo. <laughs> I don't know how to even say the dribbling <laughs> dynamo. dynamo. Okay, go ahead. What do you think about Kawhi? I don't think there's anyone that can completely disagree with it. Yeah. Like it's Kawhi. There's a lot of people I know I've spoken to that they said LeBron is the best two-way player just. because it, look at him as being so dominant, especially offensively, yeah. and through his whole career. But with Kawhi, it's like there's not a lot of two-way players in the league these days. Like you got obviously LeBron, obviously Kawhi, guys like Anthony Davis, Paul George, Jimmy Butler, even. But for him to be just as valuable defensively on his team as he is offensively is like amazing. Like offensively, he's super efficient. You can give him the ball in clutch moments, and you know he's going to do something with it. And then. Um, like and he's just super efficient like his numbers are up every year and you could always depend on him and defensively like he can defend at every position mm -hmm. and you know he's going to bring it every game like you know some players take plays off even games off but with him you know he's going to bring it every day and I think it's a part of the system he's into with San Antonio but like you can't argue that he is the best two-way Mm -hmm. hey, like, you, like you mentioned, his game basically talks for itself. Like he's the silent assassin. He doesn't speak. Yeah. He doesn't he speak. Doesn't no. <laughs> all the time. Nothing. He just goes there, plays every possession. And you gotta respect that. Yeah. Respect to Kawhi, man. And what, what yeah. do you think? Do you agree with that statement? The, the Jordan, Jordan statement about Kawhi? Well, there is actually some hidden stats also that, um, that mentioned that Kawhi's defensive stats this year actually were down from before. And it was this like secret strategy that teams have done this this season is that anyone that's you know that Kawhi is guarding, they actually take them out of their play. That's what they've been doing against San Antonio because how good like, because he was so good defensively that the moment he, they know who is who he's guarding, they just take him out of their play because they know they know that you know if he, they put him as far away in the corner as possible, they, he can't help defensively. Yeah. So it goes to show how good he is defensively. But I'm actually gonna pick Kevin Durant just because mm. of the fact that. Um, I wanted to, like, you know, a balance in terms of, you know, Kawhi's been good every year, he's been improved, but I feel like offensively, I think Durant has more repertoire in this game in terms of, like, you know, the mid-range, the, uh, the pull-up, the three-pointer, uh, and the drive to the lane. I think that uh, Kevin Durant is more efficient, and I think that Kevin Durant has also elevated this game. Def like, he showed that he can play defensively. This past season, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that... Um, defensive wise, I think Kawhi is a little bit of an edge than Durant, but offensively, I think Durant is way advanced in terms of where Kawhi is right now. So it, at this point in the league, I would say Durant just because of how good he is offensively, and he showed it in the finals. And he showed it also, not just, you know, defensively and not just like shooting wise and scoring, but he's also playmaking, you know, you know, acting as a playmaker for the Golden State Warriors. Like if you didn't see, he averaged at least four or five assists per game. Yeah. And that's you know, and that's something that we still haven't really seen from, from Kawhi. It's either their system or it's either, you know, it's something that he still has to work on. Mm -hmm. so I would say Durant is the best tour player right so now. So you're, you're, you're saying Durant is up there. Yeah. There's, a, there's an article that I saw that they ranked other two-way players. And obviously LeBron was there, Durant was there. And then you mentioned Anthony Davis. Yeah. Let's say if you were to, to rank, like in your personal opinion, the top three two-way players, who would it, what would be your ranking? And don't let Jordan, don't let the GOAT tell you that Kawhi is the best right now? What would you say? I think we stumped there. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's hard to categorize big man because just the way they play too. Like, I would say, you know, Davis, uh, Carl Anthony Towns is right on top of like two-way bigs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I think they're in different categories just because of the it way they play. It's hard to put exactly. them in there. Yeah. So if I were to, uh, you know, categorize, you know, Big man's big man's and then, you know, forwards to right. guards, mm -hmm. I would say like, LeBron would be like my top one. And then I have Durant and Kawhi. So it's why I'd be yeah. third. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about now. Let's move on from the two-way player to now the MVP prediction. What do you feel, or who who are you uh, most interested in seeing that their season this coming this next coming season will be their MB MVP season? Uh, let's start with you. Um. Well, with the West being so stacked, like you got all the duos now. So you yeah. have like obviously you have Curry and Durant. You got. Chris Paul, James Harden now, mm -hmm. Paul George and Westbrook, even like Carl, like Cat and Jimmy Butler are on the same team, stuff yeah. like that. So the West is the West. You can yeah. still always say that Kawhi is going to be up there in the talks regardless. No matter where Kyrie ends up, LeBron's still going to be doing his thing. Wherever Kyrie ends up, I'm sure it's going to be in a position where he's the man. So mm -hmm. wherever he ends up, I'm sure he'll be in that category as well. But 
one player is like one of my favorite players and I'm glad he had like the season he did. He had a career season this year. He's been healthy and he just inked like a huge contract. So one guy I would love to see win MVP is John Wall. Mm, Mr. Wall. He was he was John good. Wall. Like the playoffs too. Yeah. I think he was, you know, if it wasn't for Isaiah stealing the show, I think he was the best point guard throughout that whole like, you know, playoffs besides Kyrie. I yeah. think he was and that. it just sucks that like the Wizards didn't do much in the offseason so far, but no. they're still in the East. Yeah. They're gonna be top four for sure. So I think he'll have a good season still. John Wall. There we go. How I'm going we, east too. Go. Like if you think like it's hard to vote for any West players right now because the, the top teams right now have at least two, two superstars exactly. in there, you know. So it's hard. Like as much as I want to take, you know, Durant or Kawhi or Harden as or Westbrook, they have a superstar right beside them. So it's hard. Like that's why Curry didn't get as much love, even though he had a pretty good season. Oh yeah. So I I think actually if Kyrie gets traded, I think LeBron is gonna, sh you know, I think LeBron is gonna win another MVP, just because you know. He's he lost in the finals. Now. Mm -hmm. And now he has, you know, his buddy just literally said, I don't want to play with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, he has to find a way to show that, you know, he's take out some of that frustration. Yeah, and he has like, a chip on his shoulder. Exactly. And I don't think they're going to get the same value as, you know, Kyrie. They probably, if they do get blood, so that's a pretty good deal. But it's not the same level as Kyrie. So I think he's going to have to do more because he other no than, <laughs> he has no choice. Other than, other than Kevin Love, every one of his players just got older than they already are and they're in their you know the wrong side of 30. Mm -hmm. So what else is going to do with it but LeBron? I think LeBron is going to have an MVP year.